Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. There may be times when we have date data stored in a format that MySQL cannot automatically convert to a date. Today, we're going to show one way to convert that data into a date on the fly. One way date data may be stored in the incorrect format is in JSON data that is ingested from third-party sources. Let's take a look at a database table where we store some JSON data. When we run describe player data, we see the table has two columns, an ID, which serves as the primary key, and game data, which stores our JSON data. Let's take a look at the data that is stored in this table by running select star from player data. We see that the column game data contains JSON data that consists of first name, last name, score, and date properties. The date property contains a date that is in the format of two digit month slash two digit day slash four digit year. Because this is not an ISO format, MySQL cannot convert this to a date automatically if we need to use any date functions in a query on this data. Take this query, for example. We want to return every row of data where the date property in the JSON has a month value of 11. When we run this query, we get a message that the date property in each row is an incorrect date time value. One way we can address this is to use the str to date function in our query. str to date will take a string and convert it to a date based on the pattern that we provide. str to date takes two arguments. The first is the string that contains the date, and the second is a string that contains the pattern we want to match. In this example, we use the value of the date property in the game data column as our string. Our pattern is percent lowercase m slash percent lowercase d slash percent uppercase y. In the pattern, we can use any of the same pattern tokens we would use for the date format function. When we run this query now, the results show only the two rows where the month was November. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.